Most major projects that I take on begin with a single spark of inspiration, and then everything snowballs from there. Kind of like that children's book, if you give a mouse a cookie, he'll ask for a glass of milk. And if you give him the glass of milk, he'll probably ask for a straw, and so on. When it comes to the front porch makeover that I'm sharing with y'all this week, the cookie of this story is this fireplace surround that I'm currently building. And then there came a massive floor painting project. And y'all, the finished project is a chef's kiss and a nod to a French provincial courtyard that is just to die for. I truly hope that y'all will stick around for the next 25 minutes or so and watch this entire process as well as the final reveal. A few months ago, I had the idea that it would be so cozy to have a fireplace around on the porch, and I have been scouring Facebook Marketplace and antique shops ever since. Everything that I found was either just not the style I was looking for, or it was out of my price range. So of course, I decided the next best thing was to build one for myself. Luckily, we had just taken down my youngest daughter's loft bed, and I had a large amount of 2x4s and other various pieces of wood that I could use to try and make this vision come to life. I really do love trying to find ways to use existing wood that I already have, as opposed to buying all brand new, even if that means that I have to find creative ways to build whatever it is that I'm dreaming of. In this particular project, I only ended up buying one new piece of wood, and that was a two by 10 by eight that I ended up using for the center piece of the mantle as well as for the top. And then I did buy a decorative scroll piece of trim from Lowe's to add just a little bit of extra detail. This little blue device right here has been a game changer for me when it comes to my building projects. It's called a Craig jig and it allows you to easily make pocket holes. Pocket holes are basically an easy way of attaching two pieces of wood together. You're usually going to do it on the back side so that whatever you're building, you won't see any screws from the front. Everything is going to be held together on the back side. I got mine for Christmas a couple years ago from a family member, and I remember thinking they are going to think that I am so strange for asking for a tool for Christmas. Turns out though, my reputation truly precedes me and they weren't shocked in the least. And I was so excited when I opened it on Christmas Eve that year. The winters here in southeast Texas are pretty mild, 
but for whatever reason, I've really let this porch go. So I'm especially excited for the transformation that is coming. Of course, the first step in any big makeover is to clear everything out of the space. Most everything you see will come back in the final reveal, but it's amazing how different it all feels with all of the updates that I make. As I mentioned in the beginning, these big projects that I do often snowball and take on a life of their own. And I think in some respects, I enter into a state of madness. I've always been a creative person, but the older I get, and as my DIY skills evolve, I think I push myself to the brink at times. So that leads me to my decision to give the porch floors a bold update. But let me back up. It actually started when we decided to remove the lime wash from the brick exterior of our home. I thought I wanted the house to be white, but I didn't want to paint it, and I'm glad we didn't. At the end of the day, I don't think the lime wash really went on correctly, and it started to peel in places, and it just didn't look good. Thankfully, my wonderful husband was willing to get a pressure washer so that we could remove the lime wash with a little help from some vinegar and elbow grease. So with the gray toned brick back, I started thinking of ways that I can make it more of an asset than a liability. For some reason, that gray brick with the white and black, I just, it wasn't my favorite. That is when I came up with the idea of putting a fireplace mantle on the porch to serve as a focal point to break up a bit of that brick on the right side of the porch. I thought maybe that would help. Then I got to looking at the concrete floors. And they were so beat up. There was stain from projects that I had worked on and paint splashes everywhere. I just, I wasn't taking care of it. So you know what they say, go big or go home. So then of course I decided that I was going to paint the floors. But what color, what style? I'm heavily inspired by European style, both English, French, and Italian. And one of the things that I kept coming back to was a black and white diamond pattern. There is nothing more classic, more timeless, more elegant than that. And I knew that that would give the porch the wow factor that I wanted, as well as giving me an incentive to be a little bit smarter about working on my projects on the porch. Okay guys, so basically what I've done is I created a template out of foam core. I cut it to roughly 15 by 15, I think. I wanted the pattern to be 
big enough to where it didn't feel super busy with tiny little black squares everywhere but also I wanted it to at least be able to fit at three or four rows of the diamond pattern. So what I've got so far is I am starting to tape off with the frog tape and I just trace out this diamond on all of, I'll just trace this out all across the brick to start with. I not super mathematical about this. I basically started it centered on our front door, which is kind of off center of the house. So I thought that would be a good spot just to kind of make things centered from that point on. So now it's just a matter of painting. Oh, and I had to show you guys. Of course, you know, I'm an accident waiting to happen and I spilled some of the black paint. But guys, Thankfully, I actually spilled it in the perfect location. So look. I mean, what were the odds that I would literally spill it right where I was gonna need a black diamond square? So yeah, go figure. So to kick things off on day three, I got up early and started sealing the concrete. 
I knew that with the humidity that we've been having that it was probably going to take much longer than the two hours of dry time that it said on the container. Um, and it definitely did. I think it took about four hours for each coat to dry. I went with a product that was made for concrete that also said it was non-yellowing, which was really important with these white diamonds. I won't mind wear and tear on the floors. I know that that will inevitably happen and that will add character, but I just don't want the white to yellow. I will have a link to all of the products that I used on the floors in the description box in case any of y'all are interested. I picked up this decorative wood piece at Lowe's for about $10. I've also bought these on Amazon in the past and both are great options. I just thought that the mantle needed just a little something extra and I think this is going to do it. I also end up adding a few small pieces of scrap decorative trim that I had on hand and added those to the columns on either side. I opted to paint the mantle with the same black exterior paint that I used on the floors. I thought that would give a nice contrast between the brick and the rocking chairs. I had considered staining it, but at the end of the day, I thought a contrasting color was just the better way to go for the all over design of the space. I also end up painting the porch swing off camera in the same black color so that the two pieces will really serve to anchor the space visually.
I was looking for a new wreath for the front door this year and I came across this olive branch one at Hobby Lobby. It was actually on clearance. It was normally, I want to say $49.99 and I got it for $12.99. I couldn't pass that up. It was just so pretty. I didn't want anything really fussy. I wanted something just simple something that I felt would sort of go with that European vibe that I'm going for on the front porch now. So I think this is going to work perfectly.